Good morning. Hey, uh, this week and, and a lot last week, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, will the little micro mini furnace work on map gas? And uh, actually, my whole mission with these little furnaces, especially the little square one I started out doing with the amalgamite, uh, I wanted to melt silver in the little square furnace, uh, you know, 25 minutes and I could barely get it to melt. Uh, so I went down and I bought map gas and I put it in there and I didn't really notice any difference. Well, since that point I've gotten thermocouples and what have you. So today I'm going to do a, a real quick test of propane versus map. So to keep it as equal as possible, uh, I bought a cylinder of map gas and a cylinder of propane. So they're both the same size cylinders, they're both the same temperature. Uh, so I should be equal on results. I just, I lit the little furnace just to pull the moisture out of the KO wool because it, it's pretty cold and foggy here in Oregon this morning so I'm gonna get this set up I'm gonna use the remnants of my burns o BZ 8250HT torch because it's the one I produced 2150 degrees with in the micro mini uh, but yet the little uh, 539T I got 2,000 with it yesterday, so we'll do a quick test and we'll find out if the map gas is worth over double the price. So I'll get set up and then we'll get back at it. What I'm doing in the little furnace is I've taken a graphite block that's been bored and it's got a, a cone shaped bottom, a 60 degree cone and the graphite block is going to be the target and then I'll put the lid on the furnace and then the thermocouple will drop down through the lid and be in at the bottom of the target and I'm going to use it to where they're both the same in the same position for the two different gases so it should try to keep it equal uh, so you see what's going to be inside the furnace um, the lid is I stole sold all the finished ones so the lid is in the process of being finished but it'll work for this little test so I'll get the gas going okay I'm gonna get this little furnace going I like my torches first I don't like it when they pop I set the torch tip just back inside the KO wall. thing is different right now I can tell that by the sound I just rolled up on a thousand degrees this is gonna it's gonna take a while so I'll go ahead and go and pause. There ain't no sense in making this a real long video. Okay, we just rolled past 
1500 degree. One of the biggest differences you're going to find between MAP or propylene, uh, as I understand that MAP gas is becoming unavailable, but it's been replaced with propylene. Um, the price. $9.35 for the little one pound bottle of MAP gas. The propane, $2.99. Um, boy, that's a big difference. I sure expect to see a... Uh, I'd like to see it get up somewhere to the limits of my thermocouple, which is 2300 degrees or 2500, I can't read it. Okay, well, we're on, it's just below 1850 degrees. I'm going to pause again so this video stays short. Well, looks like we're just on 1900 degrees. keep going in and out on this. I'm going to let that propane cylinder run until it does not, the temperature does not change anymore. I'm going to do the same with the map. We've climbed up over 1900 now. Just barely. Well, the temperature's been holding steady at about 1910 degrees. Uh, and that's the, that's the temperature of the target block. So, if that target block had gold or copper in it, it, it would be melting. Uh, right at the point of melting. Irregardless of what the gas temperature is around the target. So this will give us a pretty good indication of uh, what's actually going on inside the furnace. Back on the standby. Well, it's been sitting steady at 1900 and probably 45 degrees for about five minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the gas off and let the furnace cool down. And then I'll switch over to the map gas and we'll start back up again. Okay, I've got it set up on the map cylinder and the torch is idling right now. So. We're sitting a little below 1,500 degrees. I'm gonna turn the gas up and we'll see what we get. Excuse me for blocking the... <laughs> Excuse me, so here we go. We're on map gas and I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll zoom in on standby so you don't go blurry like I do in all my other videos. Okay, here we go. Let's see where this settles at. 299 versus nine dollars and some odd cents. just tell right now that neither one of them sound as vigorous as the coming off the propane bottle, but I would think gas pressure is gas pressure. Of course, it's cold today. It, it's probably only 38 degrees outside. It's not that hot in the shop either. But that's cold enough in here you can see your breath, but that might just be from not brushing your teeth in the
course, if you're a gold melder or copper, either one, you're now up to the range to where instead of just having enough temperature to melt the copper, you've got enough temperature to get the copper or gold up to a temperature to where it will readily pour easy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be worth the difference. I wouldn't think it'd be worth the difference with sterling silver. That's why I tried to come up with furnaces that run off of the little portable air propane torches. I have oxygen and acetylene, but you go broke trying to, to do work with those. I, seems like every time I turn around, I'm having to get my tank filled and not, you know, $80, $90 a pop. And they don't last very long. For a barbecue tank of propane, I've been running on the one tank just ran out, and I've been running on it since last spring. So, anyway, well, we're over 2,000. We'll see where it, it normalizes that. Back on the camera. Well, we're sitting on 2,000 and about 25 degrees. Been sitting there for two or three minutes. Uh, it's not climbing anymore. Probably if I let the bottle run out, we might get a few more degrees. So that's up to you. Um, is the added expense of the map worth 75, 80 degrees? Uh, I guess the difference would be pouring gold or not. The propane, for, I work in sterling silver do a little pure silver, but it's more than adequate and very cheap using the, the bigger barbecue cylinders. So, decision yours. Is it worth it or isn't it? Uh, I sure wouldn't buy a map anymore. So, I'm out of here for the day. Bye.